Hello guys, this is DTA416 here, and today I have a video on how to make this cool emblem. Uh, if you guys do not know how to make this emblem, you better subscribe and hit the like button because you're about to find out. Alright, so uh, we're going to start from scratch here, and you can see uh, all the cool little colors I have inside here. Now, you can do this for anybody's, uh, actually three letter names, so you can see I did it with my friend John, uh, but that's a little bit different. My f girlfriend, uh, not actual girlfriend, but... Girl, friend, Sydney, uh, and my other friend, Tom. So we're going to start from scratch here. And, uh, once again, if you want to know how to make any of these emblems, please hit the like button uh, and uh, comment below uh, which one you'd like to see. We'll see if we have any more over here. Oh, I have the girls kissing. I like that one. Uh, Non-stop gaming, which is another favorite. Uh, I like this one, too. My original DTA. Uh, DTA. I have a lot of DTA. Uh, Vantage, when I was in the Vantage clan. Uh, diamond camo, and I think the last one is the yeah, 10th prestige. Alright, so, um, we're gonna start this off. So, uh, you wanna go to your letters, get D, or get your three letter name, um, put it like, uh, I do small personally, small and a better, it looks cooler. Uh, you want to, um, make it so it's. It's nice and perfect. Uh, you'll see why we want it to fit nice and perfect in a couple of minutes. All right, and get an A. And try and make them touch the best they they you know possibly can. You know, the more they touch, the easier the emblem will be to make. All right, we just want to make that look a little bit more perfect. All right. After that, you actually only can do. We can do this actually. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe we will make a touch. Make it a little bit different than the because I haven't made this emblem in a while, uh, so we'll make it a little bit different. But there you go, make it look just like that, or however you like. Uh, we'll show you how to do it. We'll show you the main uh, functions of the emblem and how it gets that cool effect uh, here in a uh, couple of minutes. So next, you want to grab a, uh, a block or you know uh, a square. Oh, I said block. I don't know why I said a block. Uh, so you want to grab a square and make it look just like that, you know, cover the top uh, so it looks black on the top. Uh, copy and paste it and put the same thing on the bottom. Now, judging on what letters you put in there and everything, you want to cover all three sides. Um, so you can do this if you have gray on that side. Uh, let's see here. You can do that if you have grace gray on that side. I'm going to do it just because I want to show you guys. And copy and paste. And uh, because my A is slanted on the left side, I'm going to actually slant this. And put it just like that. Alright. Now, this is one of the most important parts of making it. Uh, this emblem actually work. Uh, you want to copy and paste the square or just put a new one in there. Uh, make it so it covers all of it. Put it behind all the layers and make it like pink or a bright bright color alright alright I'm just gonna fix that now you'll see that uh, the little the little cracks and stuff behind the D and the T there in the top left and between the T and the A there in the top right so we're gonna have to cover those up so you know we'll show you how it works alright so next you wanna go grab a another square actually uh, uh, for the D copy and paste that and make that pretty small now now what I'm doing uh, may not work for what you want to do so say you want to do like an A for the first letter or a B uh, you want to uh, fill in the uh, all the pink pretty much is what you want to do so we're gonna fill in all the pink uh, so that will make the effect that we actually have a D there but it's really not there and you'll see what I'm talking about in a couple minutes so, uh, like I said, you want to fill in all the pink. So, we're going to fill in this pink here. And I think a square looks, works pretty decent for the D. That's what I always used if I ever had a D uh, for doing this. So, right there, you see that there's really no pink left. And there is a little bit on the right, but you know you can't really see that. Um, so, yeah. Copy and paste that square again. Uh, and make it so it's nice and skinny. And I would go like this. Personally, uh, right? I'm gonna do that right there. Uh, go and get a um, 
Now, this is going to be a little tricky, but we'll try it. We'll try it. Uh, what should we use? We should use a curved line, and then we'll put a, a um, triangle down there. Alright, a curved line there. Right there. And then you see that there's a little triangle left. Uh, I'm going to go grab the one down here. And we will just, we don't even really need a triangle, we just need to fill on the, uh, the, uh, pin. Come on, thank you. Alright, so copy that triangle again. Uh, put that right about there. And make it so it looks, you know, it fills in that pink. Or whatever color you have, you may have blue or something, who knows. Uh, really it doesn't even matter, because in the end you're just going to delete the pink anyways. We almost got it here. Come on. Alright. Alright. Uh, copy and paste that and put that in the A's uh, middle. Uh, another triangle on the A of the, the middle of the A. Alright. Uh, next, you want to go grab something to fill in the bottom of the A. Uh, I would suggest this right here. It looks pretty decent, and you can scale it to how you want. All right. There you go. Uh, now we got to do the little uh, black, the little pink parts up at the top right between the T and the D and the A and all that crap. Uh, copy and paste the uh, the triangle again, and put it right about there, so it looks pretty decent when you uh, uh, do the final touches. And we're gonna fix this to scale here. Alright, that looks good. Just wanna make sure the T looks decent. because uh, the T is a pretty important part. And we're gonna just cover up this little black thing right about there. Alright, so now is the final um the final not the final thing yet, but uh we're getting there. So you see that it looks kinda kinda sloppy, but you know. It's gonna look good, don't worry, don't worry. Not to worry a thing. Alright, next, uh, what I like to do is uh, go and grab one of these. Make it however you want. Uh, I like to start off with uh, red and just work my way over. Copy and, th oh, we gotta make it all the way in the back here. Put it in front of all the letters. Copy, paste, put it behind the last one, make it a little orange there, and we're going to make this a little bit better red. Alright, there you go. Copy, paste, and just keep doing that until you... I mean, you can do whatever colors you want. You can do a pattern. You can do like red and blue, red and blue, red and blue, or something like that. You know? Oh shit! My bad. My bad. My bad. Shit. Are we gonna fix this now? Oh no! I didn't mean to do that. Oh shit! All right, there we go. Alright, that'll work. My bad, my bad. Alright, so copy, let's not copy over top of this again. I'm gonna make it green here. Let's see here, make it green. Right there, and we're almost done, guys. We're almost at the finish line here. This is the finishing touches. Of the emblem, make it blue or green or whatever the hell it is. And I know it looks kind of bad, but we're gonna fix it up in a minute here. I haven't made this emblem in a while. Make it a nice blue. We're almost done. All 
Nice purple here. A uh, nice purple. And we'll actually finish off with purple. Alright guys, there is the DTI emblem. Um, you, like I said, you can do it with any uh, three letters you want. It works good with three letters. I never tried four letters. But uh, you do what you want. Alright. I don't know. We gotta make the T look good here. There is your T in the middle. Your A on the right there. And the D looks pretty decent. Uh, so yeah, there's your DTA emblem. It looks a little bit different than the original one I showed you. And now you can go back and delete the original letters. And you have your effect. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And peace.